Thanks so much, Craig. On to this morning's family health report. Doctors say nearly 800,000 Americans experience a stroke every year, with them becoming more and more common in people 50 years of age or older. But doctors are getting better at directing the warning signs. I sat down with one local doctor who's using a small monitor to pick up the faintest symptoms to help stop the stroke before it occurs. Strokes are normally caused by a bleed or clotted blood vessel in the brain, but about one-third are called cryptogenic strokes, meaning the cause is unknown. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, or smoking could be some of the common culprits, but doctors found a factor that's not as easy to recognize, atrial fibrillation, or irregular heartbeats. And so when blood doesn't move, um, it clots. So that puts people at risk for small clots forming in that upper chamber of the heart. And that irregular heart rhythm, therefore, is associated with a higher risk of stroke. But it can be tricky to catch, and sometimes being hooked up to a monitor in the hospital for a week at a time doesn't work. That's why some doctors are using insertable monitors called the Reveal Link. This device is one-third the size of a AAA battery, and with a minor surgical procedure, it gets placed under the skin near the heart. Then every now and then, throughout the day, it wirelessly downloads data straight to the people who can help. And if it's a life-threatening rhythm, Netronic would call the doctor on call. But if it's a, a rhythm that's not life-threatening but something we should know about, it will be sent to the office um, and it will be there waiting for us the next morning. And so it's pretty incredible to get daily downloads. That information helps Dr. Lynn Swisher at Cayuga Medical Center in Ithaca give her patients the right treatment, like 80-year-old Bill Benedict, who now uses the device after having a few mini-strokes. A, a good feeling, I mean, knowing that somebody else is watching or somebody else is keeping track of it, that, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have to worry about it if I get a flutter or something like that. And doctors want to stress that there are options out there to help prevent against strokes, just talk to your primary care physicians.